Hello guys and welcome back to the channel for part number 33 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get to Work. So we're going to go ahead and age up Ace really, really quick while we still have the candles. And there is our sugar booger, a little bit older, rubbing his hands together because he knows he's a freaking sexy papacito no matter what age he is also christine does need to also go ahead and age um, if she's still here we will go and do that as well so i think christine young is going to be uh an adult journey i don't know why i just said it. i just i don't know saw her face and i was like hey girl hey okay so yes i'm double checking here so yeah chris christine is going to be a adults so because Nyla and her are like the same age and that's kind of weird so I feel like having them older now makes a lot more sense and oh gosh my butt is like sticking to the chair it is so damn hot and there's our Derek he's so freaking cute um and honestly Christine doesn't look a day older look at the sass the sass is real we're gonna go and have everybody grab a slice of that cake um cake 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 <laughs> Uh, and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Somebody uh, really, or not somebody, but like a few of you guys suggested that um, Derek and Nyla have a baby, even though they're just like kind of starting their relationship and stuff like that. Um, nothing's really too serious. I would actually like that. I think that would be pretty, pretty cool um, to see if them have a child. So we'll see, you know, we'll see where, where it goes from here. I don't know exactly where Derek lives. I think he has a house. I can't really remember. Um, but it would be kind of nice to have some alone time with him. I don't know what time he goes to work, but he's really involved with our family. And he always comes over and, you know, like, I feel like he's a pretty good guy. Like, he he seems like somebody I would I would want Nyla to settle down with. And, and a lot of you thought Jasper was really freaking cute. And I think he is absolutely adorable as well. And he's cleaning up right now. And then um, here is Scott. I'm actually going to have Ace kind of, I don't know what he's doing. What is he doing? He's going to go and dance. I'm going to have Ace kind of talk to Scott. And I'm going to freeze ray him. Just because, you know, I mean, I'm literally going to freeze ray him. Yes. And somebody um had mentioned that I don't really focus on the get to work aspect too much. Well, right now as it stands, Ace is the only one who goes to work in a get to work. <laughs> get to work job. Um, So, and he's off for the weekend. So, yeah, that's why I do focus on it. I promise. It's just not when this kind of stuff happens. Um, like, when he's off, obviously, I don't focus on it. But he goes to work, in case you were wondering, in two days. So he goes to work on Tuesday. Yes, I think so. Right, Tuesday? And he should be getting a promotion pretty pretty soon. Um, I guess <laughs> Scott is still frozen here and we are just gonna, we're gonna let him stay like that for a little bit. Yep. We're gonna, we're just gonna let him stay like that. We ha we don't care at all. Period. Uh, where's Derek? Did Derek leave? Did Derek go home? No, Derek, don't leave me. Derek. No. Okay. Uh, I want to, um, I don't know what I want to do, but I, I, I really, <laughs> I want to go somewhere with him. So I don't know if I can travel with him or not, but we're going to try it. We're going to see if. Let me see. We're going to see if he has a house. I can't remember. I could have sworn I gave him a home. But then again, you know, I really can't remember. So let me see where he does live. Um, okay. Here? Nope, that's definitely not it. What about here? Okay, what about here? Here? No? Uh, maybe he lives in Oasis Springs. Let's take a double piggy. Um, I don't think he... Oh, no, he does. He lives with his... What? His brother. Oh, that's because we lost all that, didn't we? His brother lives in, like, a nice house. So that's kind of weird that that's the way that is. Um, well, then. Okay. Let me not travel with you really fast. And let me go ahead and fix that situation because that doesn't make any sense to me. Manny... Manny. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> Manny. <laughs> I don't know why I just called him Manny. Uh, Manny is actually the name of my husband's friend that we hung out with on the weekend. And for some reason, I guess that just came to mind. That is very odd. Okay, moving on. Um, <laughs> I meant to say Danny. So Danny is a very successful person, and I don't understand why exactly he is um, living in there when I could have sworn he had a nice house and all that, but 
whatever. I'm not going to sit here and stress out about it. I am, though, going to go ahead and uh, move some sims. I'm going to um, create a new household and put Danny, okay, Danny and uh, Sterling together, okay? And I'm going to leave, um, I'm going to leave... Let's see. Let's just move them in somewhere. I'm going to move them into Oasis. I guess they're together now. Whatever. That'll be fine with me. Let's do a little free real estate cheat for them because he's supposed to be successful and rich. Uh, does anybody live here? Yes, they do. Okie dokie. Gato, what were you doing in my bathroom? Taking a dump. <laughs> Uh, can we move like to any somewhere else? They could be our neighbors. We they, we'll have them be our neighbors. That would be freaking ironic, wouldn't it? All right. So that means Derek still lives in this Humpty Dumpty dump, which we're gonna go and um, we're gonna build on it. We're gonna give him a different house, I think. Right? Oh, he's sitting there looking at his coolie hoe, coolie hoe. Hey, that though is hot, huh? He's so cute. You guys should go on Twitter and look at the picture I took of him. He is so cute. He is like hotter than hell because he's all this freaking furb, as my son calls it, furb. <laughs> yes, baby. You're so hot. I know. I know. I wish I could just shave you so then you don't have this issue anymore. But I actually quite happen to like your fur. So uh, don't know how much money I just gave you. But I want to see if I can get a quick little... Um, Starter home, just something relatively cheap, actually. There are 23 households on my library. Um, wow, pregnant ghosts. That's quite interesting. Let's do lots and advanced. Let's do from here and then here, I guess. I mean, well, we got a pretty big size lot, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, I just need a little starter home. This one's actually really cute. Um, I don't know how much this is. This is 17. Oh, this is for Newcrest. This is actually a really nice house. Um, it was cur created by Va Ooh, Vaja. Vaja 22. <laughs> Boja. All right, let's do furnished. Uh, let's do it. Can we, do, can we afford furnished? We can. Oh, uh, look at uh, Derek's new pad. Cool. This is nice. This is really nice. I like this one a lot. This is, oh, good job. I wish I could build something like this. All right. Um, this looks a little strange, but we're just gonna, we're gonna leave it and go visit Derek's new house. Oh, it's so exciting. Finally, you know what I mean? He's got a nice place. I can't stand that freaking trailer. I swear to you, I just can't. That trailer drives me fucking, woo! Girl, tell me about it. Tell me how you really feel. Freaking bonkers. That's what it makes me feel. So let's go have Nyla go over to Derek's and spend a little time with him. We're going to have um, Ace continue to work on his rocket ship. By the way, I have not forgotten about Stella. This is why we're trying to go to Planet Sixum. And I, 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 a lot of you really like Stella and a lot of you really think that Ace just hasn't found the one yet. And... You know, I'm really getting tired of my Sims being so damn lonely. I swear they like screw up their relationships and then like they just, they never settle. You know, it's kind of a sad situation. So, and now that Ace is getting a little bit older, he kind of needs some like, you know, in his life, I guess. So, all right, let's go travel with Derek um, and make things, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if Nyla's ready for a kid. She's so young still, you guys, but... Sometimes sometimes things happen and it looks like Scott just got unfrozen and I'm sure he just loves Ace for that like <laughs> Christine your ex is psychotic She already knows trust me. She already knows she already knows she dealt with that ish for way too long And this poor woman has like literally put her life on hold and I say literally a lot uh, put her life on hold for him and he just kind of Blew her off and it's sad it is but it's just kind of the way that it that the cookie crumbles and here is Derek's new house. I love this place so much and I'm gonna have her go ahead and brighten up his day a little bit and I don't know we'll see kind of what happens from here on out. They could go upstairs and woohoo and try for a baby. Should we do it? You guys wanted it. You said have a baby with Zodi. That's what you said. I didn't say it. You did. This house is freaking awesome. This is nice. I like it. It's small, and I've noticed a lot of people are building really small starter homes for Newcrest, and I, I want to I want to do some as well. I really like the windows too. This is like one of those tiny homes. Um, 
And that's kind of what it reminds me of a little bit. But their relationship is so incredibly amazing. And I don't know. I really I envy it a lot. You know, I do. And Derek is just, he's just a sweetheart. And he cares about Nyla so much. And she's been through a lot, you know? Like, <laughs> you guys know it. So I think it'd be, I think it'd be really nice to try for a baby. Let's go see what happens. Are we together? Best friends, lovebirds. Oh, we're not even dating? <gasps> oh, we're not even dating. Oh, <laughs> I could have sworn we were. All right, Nyla. She's going for it, you guys. We'll see how that goes. Oh, my goodness. No babies? No babies. No babies? What? Why not? Are we going to try for a baby or what? No, I guess not. I guess not. All right. Well, we need to because I want to. All right. Let's try for a baby with Derek Wheeler. Go for it. Oh, cool. All right. So here we are. Break out the candles. Make it romantic. Nyla Culver's about to woohoo for the first time. Ah! Oh, my gosh. It's her first time. There's been a lot of first timers in my LPs lately. So I'm going to definitely make things official with Derek. I know that I like him. I know that I care about him. Um, and I would really, 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 really want to possibly have a future with him. And I could actually see Nyla and Derek kind of living on their own and starting up a family and a life together. But I don't know yet. I don't know if we would play with them. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Should we continue to play with Derek and Nyla and see how their life starts? But first, we got to figure out the whole thing with freaking uh, Stella and um ace so nyla's gonna go ahead and take a pregnancy test we're gonna go see if she's prego which is perfect because um derek's here with her so i think you know she'd be scared she's gonna crap her pants that's ah, really fast to get pregnant usually you know it's a little more realistic than that but all right eating for two nyla is expecting she is actually pregnant and she's gonna go tell freaking um she's gonna go tell Derek and that is so exciting he looks a little nervous oh is he excited or not I don't know I, I can't really I can't really tell but uh you know she she doesn't know what to do now now that she's pregnant you know like what do you do do you move in do you become more serious do you not like she doesn't know she's ready for all this but she's definitely pregnant guys so that's pretty exciting I can't wait to see um Nyla's Nyla's baby uh, we got to bring a Jasper. Oh, I guess we're falling asleep at his house. How cute. What is he thinking? I wonder what Derek is thinking like right now. Like he's, oh, look at this view. <gasps> that is so beautiful. This house is perfect. I wonder what he is thinking. Like, you know, oh my God, I'm about to be a dad. This woman beside me, she's my baby mama. She's so damn pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. Mm hmm I want bacon. Bacon and eggs. Let's go make some. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, Nyla's going to go ahead and wake up, and she needs to go home and uh, say, well, not say, but it's kind of express this to her dad. Or Actually, you know what? We could even invite him over uh, and let him know or share the big news with him. I don't know. I feel like Nyla would want to move in with Derek. I do. I feel like that would be what he would want anyway. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, Ace is actually going to come over, and he's all already here, and he is in tears. I don't know what the joke, what the joke, well, I don't know what the issue is, but I'm going to go and greet him, obviously, and uh, get to know him. Actually, is he going to come upstairs? I don't know. I don't know. I think we should have Derek and them all kind of go sit down. Um, okay, let's see if we can have them sit together. Sit here together, and then Go ahead and have dad come and sit down too as well, if we could. Where did dad go? Dad dad disappeared. He is such a little snatch. Come over here. Come sit with us, please. Freaking weirdo. I want to call him over. Can I call him over? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, No, I can't. He's too far. What do you mean he's too far? All right, share the big news. He needs to come downstairs because I ain't got time for all this right now, okay? He needs to come downstairs. Okay, cool. He is. He's actually going to. And this is so nerve-wracking. Ah! Oh, my God. Nyla is like, look at his face. He's like, mm, okay, what are you about to tell me right now, sister? You're going to be a what? A mother? You don't even have a job. You have nothing going on with your life right now. And you and Derek are too busy playing house. Look at his face, you guys. I'm scared. I don't know what he's going to think, but I hope he's going to be a granddad. He's like, I can't. Oh, my God. Do you see his face? He's like, uh, what? <laughs> Um, are you, are you sure about this? Like, look at him. Oh my God. It's so exciting. I have to take this picture. I, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Yes. I don't know. He looks like he's about to cry. 
I don't know. I don't know how he feels. He's actually might be excited. I don't know. I think he might be excited. What do you think Ace feels right now? Do you think he's excited or what? I don't know, but he's a little he's a little tense right now and he needs amusement. So I don't know. I hope he's excited. I I I hope. I don't know. I just I think he's like, oh god, I just had kids. Now my daughter's freaking pregnant and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it all goes. He's actually a little I think he might be a little mad and not too excited about it. Um are you giving me a lecture right now, Dad? Are you serious? Well, go screw yourself. You should be freaking happy for me. You should be happy for me. Like, really, you should be. I, I am... Oh my god. Just because I don't want to be like you? Or just because I don't want to live the life that you live? And just because I'm young doesn't mean I'm not in love with Derek. How dare you? Seriously, he's such a butthole. He needs to go away. Oh, you're going to sit here and yell at me in front of my freaking... Oh my god, in front of in front of my whatever, my boyfriend? Like, you need to leave. You need to go. I'm gonna go home. I can't deal with this right now. I'm so serious. Like, he needs to go. He needs to go. Goodbye. I don't I don't he's giving her a lecture right now because he's he thinks she's making a mistake and and no. Nyla Nyla's not hearing it, you know? Nyla can't deal with that right now. She she has enough on her plate. Where is Derek? Did he leave? I think he did. <laughs> I think he was like, see ya, I'm out of here. I think he did. I think he actually took off. I'm not even kidding. Well, Nyla's actually going to go ahead and uh, go home, too. Actually, she wants to stay the night at Derek's house, which I think maybe he went to work. Oh, no, he did because he's a mixologist. So I'm going to let her go ahead and uh, sleep here. Why not? There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, switch over to Ace Culver and see how that rocket ship is coming along. So it looks like Ace is a little um, questionable on uh, Nyla's choices and... You know, I don't think he actually understands how she feels for Derek or really cares to understand, which is a shame. You know, he's being really selfish right now, if that's the case. She has literally stuck by him with the kids throughout everything. And I just don't think he understands, like, period, like, what that what that took for her. Oh, my God. He didn't really do much, did he? I don't know. Let's have him continue kind of build building since he has all this time off and whatever the case is. So... Uh, what are the what are the kids doing? They are, they should be getting ready for bed actually. So Jasper's room's here. He needs to go back with mom because he only stays with us for like the weekends and whatever the case is. But he's actually a really really cute kid. So I'm gonna have him go back to mom's house right now, um, which is where he's supposed to be because you know like her and Ace have partial custody of Jasper, so it kind of goes like both ways like you know we get them for the weekend or whatever the situation is I don't want to like take away all of her children do you get what I'm saying and then um you guys also think that Christine and Scott should have a baby so I don't know maybe we will maybe we'll have them all have freaking kids I don't know so let me find my Culver's here there we go and then Jasper's gonna go back and he looks so much like Christine it's craziness I really 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 hope though that the baby gets Nyla's looks not that Derek's ugly or anything by any means whatsoever but I do feel like um she's cuter than Derek if that makes sense so hopefully that'll all work out for um for I don't know what I was gonna say for the benefit benefit of Good looks and genetics, sure, yeah, I guess, I don't know. All right, have you looked at your notebook yet? No, I haven't. Where's Where's our boo-boo? He really wants to find Stella. He, like, misses her so much. Seriously, he misses her, like, a hole in the head. And everyone's like, Stella, you know, this Stella, that. He loves her. And I know some of you guys absolutely hate Stella. Well, that's just the way it is. Why would you want to be with somebody who hurt you? Because sometimes that is just how it works, you know? I don't know, it's hard to explain, but... Sometimes, you know, the wounds actually make people blonde or in a really weird, sick, disgusting way. So rocket science, we're on rocket science number two. So we need to be on rocket science 10, I think, to actually travel to planet six. And so people have said, I don't really know. Uh, Nyla is staying apparently the night at Derek's house, which is totally fine, I guess. Um, but we're going to kind of speed on through till the manana because there's really nothing else to see here. Okay, guys, and good morning. So the twins have gone off. We're about to, we're actually about to just go to school here. 
Uh, Neptune is reading a book, and we've got Nov over here munching on some cereal, I think. She has not done her homework at all, poor girl, period. She just hasn't done anything, and she actually wants to be funny with Ace, and I feel like we need to spend a little time with our twins. So what I'm thinking is, like, after school or whatever, Ace can go ahead and take his kids to the park and spend some damn time with them, and who really even knows? He wants to have some fun and i don't know who we can invite to have a little fun with um we have a lot of different choices here and i would really like to actually invite uh, victoria i haven't really seen her in a while and i don't know we'll see we'll see if she actually decides to come over i don't know i feel bad for this girl um victoria yoshimoto will be right over so let's go and have her come upstairs with us here she is. She is so freaking pretty. She's actually decided to hang out. She wasn't talking to us for a while because of our um, reckless behavior. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of invite her in right now. And again, I'm very stressed out. And I was sleeping, so she can't give me any crap, period, about it. And he needs to, like, work out. He actually wants to embrace Victoria, which is a little interesting because he never really gets those, um, those wants, I guess, for people usually. Uh, maybe she'll be okay with it. We'll see. I mean, what if he accidentally got her pregnant too? Oh my God, Nyla's downstairs. She's like, seriously? Okay, well, I can't deal with this. this I can't deal with this right now. Uh, let's go have her work out or something. She's feeling very focused. She wants to get to know Ace and chat with this dude here. And she wants to read something. So let's have her read uh the yeah really the crisis bar and that sounds pretty perfect is there there's no photography skill books right i don't think so but we can take a quickie peek here uh over here there's baking and comedy fishing fitness there's actually a book on fitness but there's no book on that is so weird how to be a successful socialite. That's cool. Uh, logic, mischief, mixology. Mm, what's that smell? Painting, piano. There's like a book for everything. Rocket science. Yes. Oh my gosh. We actually should uh, have get a couple of these books because for Ace, um, I think that would be really cool. And then writing. There's writing books. No, I don't see anything for, um, for yeah anything else but we're gonna go and read i guess we'll just read the love in time of sandwiches and give ace here his rocket scientist books because he should really try he even though like you know he is seeing other people <laughs> he really does want stella back and he at least wants answers if anything you know like he really wants to know kind of what um I don't know what the hell the issue is. I just want you upstairs. Why is everything going to be so damn difficult, lady? He really wants to know why she left, why she bailed out on him, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And Victoria is just not really um, accepting his advances right now. I mean, like I said, we really did hurt her at one point, And we did kind of not ruin her life necessarily, but we really weren't good to her. And we're not going to. And she she's not stupid. Like, she knows what we're doing. You know, she's a successful woman. And. And uh, I don't know, like anything that we do right now, she's just like not having it. So I'm going to try really, really hard to pull the wool over her eyes is what I'm saying. Like, I feel like our women that we once were with are starting to kind of realize our our ulterior or al alternative motives or ulterior motives or whatever the situation is. Like, I'm starting to feel like. They're getting a lot smarter these days, and things are getting a lot harder for Ace. Now that Ace is even older, you know, she's a young adult, and he's an adult now, and I don't know. She just doesn't really know what to do, and I feel bad for Victoria, because I think she actually does like Ace a little bit. I mean, cares at least a little bit, you know what I mean? So we're going to go for all of these um, interactions here and hope that somehow we get her out of this funk here, and she... Um, end up kind of you know forgiving us in a sense and i would really like to woohoo with her so even though it is uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a stretch here we're gonna try really 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 hard to um kind of regain her trust and i don't think that happened because she is hiding underneath the blankets right now what the hell and nyla just took a bath in my bed bathroom um i don't know why she's feeling so stressed out but i'm gonna try to joke about a whole bunch of crap just to make her feel better 
This girl is too emotional for my liking. Like, way, 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 way too emotional. I should just invite Journey over. Because, like, this is, this is a lot of work right now. A lot. And I ain't trying to do this. I ain't trying to do nothing. I'm just trying to get with you, girl. I'm trying to get with you. Would you stop pulling on my leg? Please. Thank you. Okay. So we've got this funny little conversation going. I'm going to be romantic. I wonder if I have one of those things in my inventory. Like, we should probably just... Yep. Thank you. We should just put this, like, right here. A bottle of champagne next to Ace's bed all the time. So then that way, you know, like, it makes our sims romantic there we go enable emotional aurora so there we go i'm gonna give her a little flirty flirt 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 oh my gosh is she liking it yes this is exactly what we needed i'm gonna compliment her oh girl all right we are on to something here i want to snuggle you boo boo i'm gonna snuggle oh there she goes they're actually a freaking cute couple I'm not gonna lie. He's gonna whisper sweet nothings and tickle her. Maybe, what, I got a phone call? I got a phone call, I did, but then it, they hung up, so that kinda sucks. Um, okay, so let's go and look deeply into her eyes and uh, make out, sure, yes. And I am gonna actually woohoo, but we are going to play a little risky business and get her a prego, probably. Yeah, let's just do it. No, no risky business. Um, I don't want to be your girlfriend. No, 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 no. You, <laughs> you're not leaving. I'm sorry. I put a lot of work into this. At least, at least a woohoo. At least a woohoo. What do you guys think? We should try to get Victoria pregnant. I don't know. You guys can let me know in the comments down below, and we can go for it another time. But Ace just needs to. There we go. He feels so much better. You don't even understand. And Victoria, she's probably like, great. He's gonna kick me out, and whatever the case is. We'll let her hang out here. I'm not going to be mean to her or rude her anyway. And Nyla actually went to sleep. She hasn't seen Derek at all today. She's feeling a little a little weird, to say the least. I'm actually going to have her come out here and take some photos of the rocket ship so she can kind of work on it. Uh, she is com combating a cold because she's pregnant. So it's her, like, her whole immune system is kind of out of whack right now. Um, who's this guy? Hold on a second. Who is this? Brandon? Hmm. Brandon's actually really, really cute. Okay. So let me go grab our photo. And we're going to take a photo of... We could take a photo of the twins. That would be really cute. I don't know if we can take a photo of them together. I don't know. But I'm going to try to take a photo of Neptune at least. All right. Well, we may have already gotten some of these pictures of them. But we're going to... We're going to do it. Let's do an orientation photo like this. He's so cute. His little feetsies match his flip flops. He's so damn adorable. All right. And I want to take a picture of the rocket ship. That's like actually what I really want to take a picture of. Um, because this is pretty cool, if you ask me. And again, we're trying to get her photography skill up so that she um, can actually have a boutique someday. So let me just do this and get it to be a large photo. And we are going to, I don't know if I can zoom out, but that's actually pretty cool. So I'll do like a couple of those. And I'm going to maybe take a picture of <laughs> hottie pants. No, I'm going to take a picture of this little boat, this little steamer. So let's rotate the picture again. And that's actually really nice, you guys. Nyla, you're getting a little bit better at this. Cool. Let's see what her uh, skill is at now. I think we've been kind of really working on it. So she should be, she should, yeah, she's on level three. She's definitely getting there, you guys. Totally getting there. So where is the nearest park for the kids? Because I feel absolutely horrible that these children don't get to go out and do anything like fine. I feel like, you know, whatever, dad, you want to sleep, you want to woohoo around, you go for it. I'm taking the kids out for a while because this is not, no, not how I roll. Okay, where is where's Neptune? Like, it's not like I can miss him. What? I guess it's just gonna be a girl's day then. Nep, where are you at, man? I don't know what happens there. I guess she, maybe he doesn't want to go. Whatever. That's fine. It'll just be me and my, um, my sissy for today. Okay, please don't do this to me. What are you doing? You were speeding through here. Not cool. Stop doing that. Oh my gosh. I hope to God we don't have a... Uh, 
Okay, that was just the weirdest damn thing that you ever did see. Okay, so Magnolia Blossom, or we can go to po uh, this park, or this one, or this guy here. Let's go to this one. That was so weird. It was like speeding through really, 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 really fast. I actually think I need to end this part anyway. But, um, yeah, go ahead and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, I asked you a few questions during the video, so if you could answer those for me, that would be great. Also, go ahead and start leaving some baby name suggestions in the comments down below. And also, really, really important, one of the most important things, what do you think Nyla should do with her life? Should she continue and um, live with her father or she, her and Derek kind of move on with their own lives? You know, she feels like really, oh, look at them. They're like hugging they're being so cute blaze bauer and who else blaze and oh bentley okay they're siblings um what was i gonna say but yeah she feels kind of like almost how do you say um responsible for for the kids and she feels like obligated to to be there for them and um even though that's that's a sad way to look at it she truly does like she doesn't want to leave these kids in a, in a bad situation and not that ace isn't capable of being a good dad we all know that he is it's just like right now he just doesn't he wants to live that single life and he doesn't understand that he has children to be looking after and and that's where his his heart should be is with his kids and right now it's just obviously not about that and nyla feels like you know she's ready to live that life so she may even offer to take the kids. Who knows? You guys got to let me know what you think in the comments down below. But I'm going to have Nyla and um, Nova enjoy their day here. And we will pick up um, in the next part, guys. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.